Mike here with Flipping Goodies and today is Saturday and we're going to take a look at time. How much time invested in every item do we have and is it sometimes worth it to bulk it and get rid of it quickly or go for all the money and sit here and run tests after test after test, picture after picture when you're dealing with items like this. I have 300 or so of these I've already started listing some uh, that there I've already sold quite a few of these already um, I have some more set here okay so let's take a look at what is actually involved in what I would have to do if I tried to sell each and every one of these individually. Now, some of these can be worth really good money. Which ones? I have no idea. Okay, so I would literally have to come over here. Now, this is a bulk I've already got listed. And basically, I'm relying on people's knowledge of what I'm showing them because I'm not showing them on every single one all the codes, like this code here. But then this one, you don't see a code. Don't, well, there's a code there. No code here. Code, code, code. But you get, the, you get the picture. No code, no code. Okay, so let's take one that we can easily see what type of tube it is, okay? We'll take this one right here. This is an RCA, and then the numbers are up here. It's a 25L6 GT slash G. Okay, so that, I would have to take that, 25L6, then come to my little scrolling bar down here. Let me adjust you guys a little bit. See this bar right here? So then, what the heck was that? 25L6. So you have to go through here, right there, is 25L6. Then I have to, so, stay there, stay there please. 25L6, right there. So I have to set the meter accordingly. Um, so it have to be set to high, right? And come back over here. Uh, filament would be six which is this one here, so I have to change that to 6. And then F is 2, okay? So F over here, set these all to 0. So F is 2, and then P is 5. So now you can find P and 5. Right, I lost the damn thing again. No, I'm doing, see it's been a while since I actually done this. So 25L6, F is two, filament is that, F is two. Okay, and then P, that, that is correct, uh, is three, four, and five. So you gotta go three, four, and five like that, okay? Then, we want the shunt to be 20, which is up here. So we gotta set that. Now, we take this tube and figure out where it fits. So it looks like it would fit this one here. And then you put it in there, okay. Then, I didn't even plug this in. Let's plug it in and see what we got. So we plug this in. Hold on, I'll put you down. Okay, you can look at the tube close up. Let me get that plugged in. Okay. So now we have this plugged in. Everything's set. Test is right. It's been so long since I've done one of these. Turn it on. Now 
yet to sit here and wait and hope that that thing heats up. Um, and if it doesn't, and that meter doesn't move, see the see the fuse starting to heat up. See the meter moving. Okay, so that is a good tube, but I just went through all of that. Now I would still have to take pictures of it working, show the meter that it's good, okay, and then hope that that is a worth while tube so this would take I don't know how long has the video been going about five minutes just to do that another five minutes let's say to, to list it to research it list it so now I'm into this one tube for 10 minutes I have 300 of them and this tube could have not worked who knew you know what I'm saying this could have been a bad tube and I could have just wasted that whole time figuring all this out all these bars here the right stuff here so yes that tube works and some of these have very high value and they sell eh, depends on which ones you got really I mean they kind of I listed over a hundred I bought these two years ago they've been sitting here two years I listed about a hundred, maybe a little bit over a hundred. I think I have about six left in a box over here. Probably close to that two year mark, okay? So in reality, I've sold a hundred over two years and um, have I made money? Sure. But in the last 24 hours, I've listed one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, I think it's about nine in bulk with no testing just lay it out on the mat here take pictures take close-ups of each section and I've sold five of them already and made probably about hundred and sixty dollars so question is is that the right way or is that the right way well for me the answer is the bulk is the right way Let's take a look. Let's run some numbers because not many people run numbers on what they're doing. I ran numbers on what I'm doing. So let's take a look at it, right? So in bulk, let's say I have 300 tubes. I'm bulking them up at 25 per bulk load. I have 12 to sell. 12, I'm selling at $50. It's $2 a tube. is $600. It's going to take me about two hours to do all that work. There's really not much. Just lay it out, pictures, pictures, list. And it's the same listing over and over. Just change the skill. That's $300 an hour. Now, if I try to sell individually, based on a $15 average sale price, so 30, I mean 300, times 15, we would net $4,500. Now, that number seems great, but let's get down to the nitty gritty. 300 tubes times 10 minutes is 3,000 minutes. 3,000 minutes divided by 60 is 50 hours. 4,500 divided by 50 equals $90 per hour. Doesn't sound bad, right? But that looks a lot better. 300 per hour, 90 per hour. But let's raise up the bar and say it's $25 average sale price. 300 times 25, $7,500. 7,500 divided by that same 50 hours only works out to be $150 an hour compared to 300 an hour. Now remember, 50 hours is a ballpark that could sway most likely to the higher side, let's say. I would say it's most likely to, would be to the higher side. So, but this number won't. It would take me literally two minutes to take pictures, come over to my computer, change the listing, put the new pictures on it, scroll down to the bottom, hit uh, submit, right? So, the big question at hand is, where do you draw the line? And for me, it's just too much. I mean, there's just way too much here. Like I said, I would sit here. And the other problem was I would, I would get bored. And then I'd push it back over there for another year. I would never finish this in one sitting. 
or a week or two weeks not even a month because this would be so monotonous to try and do that plus this meter is worth about two hundred dollars so tack on another 200 again i'm estimating on how many i have it should be right around that 300 number um and we'll go from there so what i'm doing is as i'm bulking them up i'm putting numbers skew numbers on them so that's load three that's uh two is over there one sitting right there and i had smaller tubes that i put in these bags and like for example uh that's rca that's tongue saw this sylvania sold for 33 dollars but these are only small little tubes and again it's a lot of work so these are sold um i think that's i think that one sold and either that one what two of these are sold i'm not sure if it's one or two or three i forget but two of those already sold for fifty dollars plus 11.59 shipping on those so i make a few bucks on the shipping so yeah comment below let me know what you think what would you do i showed you the process of testing then the research then listing then you know i even forgot to say like inventorying this right so now i gotta put an inventory number on it find a spot to put it so i can find it again easily it's like a nightmare good money a lot of work let me know what you think comment below we'll see you on sunday at sunday night 8 p.m the worst damn reselling show with me bobby and scott we'll see you there